Good afternoon. I will encourage you to f perform a universe with me now in 20 minutes. It will be an application of the laws of form by Spencer Brown, an interpretation of Peer's ideas of mathematics and science by Louis Kaufmann and the descent in his virtual logic. With these powerful tools, I discovered the best known story of the world, the biblical story of creation, the heaven and the earth, as a calculus of language. In history, this text was interpreted as a cosmological explanation. My thesis is Genesis 1 is not a story. It's a very formal mathematical calculus of language. Bereshit para Elohim et Hashemim ve et Haaret. In an origin made Elohim the heaven and the earth. How do we get to an origin, not to a beginning? All the formal system can actually do is choose a line of development that calls some entities elementary, they are not, and builds other entities from them. The line of development and entities elementary in Genesis are the creation of the universe and the ground. Elohim, usually translated as God, means impactful power or potentiality. Hashemim means the heaven or the universe. Haaretz means the earth or the ground. The Hebrew morphence implies all these meanings. That was chapter 1, verse 1. Chapter 1, verse 2, embodies three eternal valid patterns of language potentiality. <coughs> Inference, reference, self-reference. Verse 2a, and the ground was tohu wabohu. Tohu wabohu means formlessness and emptiness. The so world famous tohu wabohu is a sign of elation in the sense of peers that combines the properties of addition and, or Hebraic wa, and negation. Formlessness is form negation, or emptiness is negation of sign, of being. That's the sign, that's the sign of peers by the, by the, the, the sign of relation by peers. A sign of relation is a condensation of multiplicity of meanings into a single word with a new meaning. The whole universe is inferred out of this sign. Whereas 2b is an associated pivot duality and darkness referring to abyss. A pivot duality is an interpretation, interpretation of meaning and seducing. Darkness in the meaning of negation of knowledge refers to abyss in the meaning of negation of space. Or negation of knowledge refers to negation of reality or negation of time refers to negation of space. The third pattern is an existential graph in the sense of peers. Denoted in Genesis and highest potentiality, trembling referring to the possibilities. It's a sign of itself. It's its own explanation. Language, potentiality, trembling, referring, eternal to the possibilities. That's the threefold condition structure of language, potentiality, or nothing, or an indication on an origin. And how does the beginning of a universe begin? What did you realize? 
the rising light or the decreasing darkness, or both. In the law of form, it's a process. This process is denoted as an inverted oscillation, equation three. It, in the morning, it needs a time span to become light. This makes an unstable state. The result light is an undistinguished infinite non-directional expression of self-reference. Denoted in Genesis verse 3 and sun of relation, impactful power, set in the heart, set in the inner, let it be light, and it was light. Let it be light, said in the heart, is a self injunction, not an external injunction, like draw a distinction. Potency makes use from its potency. It's an external reentry where speaking and what is received are present. Language potentiality act on itself. And sun evolution, Elohim saw the light that it was a property or good. It's reflection. Reflection saw A, the new value light, that it is a property, B, light is a part of darkness, and both could be distinguished one from the other. The idea of distinction was inferred. And Elohim made a distinction to mark the light and to mark the darkness. There are now two contemporary stable states. The state of light, it is marked, and it is non-marked, if it is dark, and the state of darkness is marked if it is dark, and it is non marked if it is light. A temporary two side form. And, sun evolution, Elohim calls the light time or day, and called the darkness night or unintelligible. Time is in the conception of Genesis the fourth aspect of the first distinction. The severance of eternity that occurs together with the distinction of light and darkness. And, sun revelation, it was evening and it was morning, time first or certain. Why is the line of time not from morning to the evening? The memory function can be easily demonstrated in evening and morning when darkness and light are unmarked. The first step in Genesis is framing self-reference of language by the form of distinction. The form of distinction is the distinction knowledge unintelligible and the indication in first time. So we can express knowledge as time in form. Genesis 1 begins with the creation of time, not with space. All eight steps or opera are intended from the beginning with time. So Genesis 1 is an accomplished calculus. Step 2, it's the algebraic axiom position. Denoted in Genesis and sun evolution, Elohim said in the heart, in the inner, eigenvalue, let it be extension in between, in between possibilities and will be distinguishing to mark possibilities from possibilities. The oscillating possibilities are the indicative space of the new value of expression extension. It's like water, the indicative space of the extending waves. In evaluating E, we imagine ourselves in SO with E and thus surrounded by the unwritten cross that is the boundary to S1. The unwritten cross is the boundary between the possibilities of time and the possibilities of space. Will be distinguishing is future gerund. That means time and space are infinitesimal, small, distinguishable. And Elohim put in order the extension and distinguished to mark 
the possibility switch from Venice related to extension and to mark the possibility switch from above the extension. Space are the possi possibilities which from Venice and time which are the possibilities from above. Put in order means the form out of the form or the form into the form. It's a content image relationship. Possibilities of space and the possibilities of time <coughs> only can be realized in its image. The same valid for the two orders, primary arith arithmetic and primary algebra. And, sign of relation, Elohim called related to, related to the extension universes, the universes of time and the universes of space, or the universes of knowledge and the universes of language. <coughs> and it was evening and it was morning, time second, or transforming. Universes, universes of time, universes of space. Step three, the second algebra axiom. And, sign of relation, Elohim said in the heart, let it be collected, the possibilities beneath the universe first in place, where the collected is seen, and it became so. The possibilities beneath the universe is collected first in place. Transposition, collected or transposed. Trans transposition is inferred out of position. But uh, position and transposition are independent. Theorem 18. Note, there was no reflection in the second step. The condition of collection is the principle of transmission. Theorem 10, 11, and 12 allows the expanded scope of transposition. And Elohim called the collected ground, and the collection called it C. There is no further distinction. There is no further mark, only a calling, corresponding to second canon contraction of reference. Reflection saw that the actualized ground and the possibilities of the universe that makes the collection more stable and let be seen new possibilities for the ground. And sign of relation, Elohim said in the heart, let the ground grow green, new seed sprout structure, fruit generated fruit according to speeches, which the seeds belong to on the ground. And it became so, realization. The ground grow green is the principle of organization, theorem eight, invariance. New seeds sprout, theorem nine, variance, structure according to species, consequence three, integration. That's the conception of outer poesis. And it made the ground grow green, etc. It's the transforming of the ground, A, as an actor of others, evolution, and the actor on itself, B, self-evolution. Note, the ground lies on the side of knowledge in time. <coughs> Reality on the ground only can be temporary and species-specific. In a circling process, boundaries are concealed and contracted. Step four, uh, reflection. And Elohim saw reflection, C1, the possibility, uh, reflection saw the possibility to extend the boundaries and to reveal them. It's called time, the third or threefold. We have now a threefold time and knowledge. First, an arithmetical knowledge in certain time, an algebraic transformation consideration in time transforming, and a self-generating process on a collected or transposed ground in time threefold. It's called time threefold. <coughs> and sign of relation, 
a mark of instruction. Let it be markers in extension of the universe, distinguishing <coughs> to mark the time and to mark the unintelligible. And they shall become signs and appointed times and times and iterations. <coughs> and they shall become the markers in extension of the universe to be light of instruction on the ground. Knowledge can know itself as knowledge when it expands and reveals distinctions. We had to appoint it signs, times, in the infinitesimal small possibilities of distinctions in space. It's called in Genesis marker, like in laws of form, and maybe gadgets. And Elohim put in order the two markers, the significant marker and the insignificant marker. It's a convenient, nevertheless, to refer to them separately, chapter 11. And for this purpose, we call each separate, non-literal part of any expression a marker. Thus, a cross is a marker, but a marker needn't be a cross. It will not be anything, said the beloved of Oedipus. After the revelation, Oedipus stinked his eyes with the hairpin of his mother. <coughs> That's the indication of the insignificant marker in the Greek myth. Knowledge of the knowledge is a re-entry from present distinction to past distinctions. Presence becomes history. Irreversible time becomes reversible. And sign of relation, etc. Elohim saw reflection. The reflection saw that knowledge knows better what it has done and that it can expect the unexpected and the expected. Counting with ordinal numbers is the opposite of remembering. Time first, time second, time third. Another way to picture counting is modulation. Time certain, time transforming, time threefold, time stretched is called the fourth time stretched in the sense of expanded and revealed. <laughs> I make a shortcut now. The self-being possibilities. And Elohim created in the sixth step the monster of self-living possibilities and opportunities in time depart. It's a re-entry from the present to the future, in the other direction. In the seventh step, the ground generated, not Elohim. Impeded in speech, moving, self-living things, reviving the ground. The sixth, in the, the sixth time includes, like the third time, a second step. That's the uh, possible uh, about the imaginary value. Let us put in order Adam in our image and like our image and rule over multiplicity of the collected and over opportunities of the universe and over impeded and speech and over the whole ground and over the movement of the movement on the ground. Step eight changes from the inside of language, its laws, to the outside, its use. Adam means produce, bring out, infinitive. Adam is no name. Let us put in order, Adam. Let us means the observer Elohim and the observed re-entered into the created universe and the ground with the result of Adam, of produce. Adam, state eight, is the image of the deliberated image. It's not the content. It's the image of the image. The content is another. To make an expression meaningful, we must add to it an indicator to present a place from which the observer is invited to regard it. Adam is the new observer. This is the indicator. The image of an image is the indicator of the position of Adam. 
it means the sides of language have the reference, not Adam have the reference. Language being has its reference to Adam, but not Adam gives language its language being. Whatever Adam as a sign is doing, he always makes an indication. Each speech in which Adam is has reference to Adam. Space is always language space. Distinction in time has reference to Adam. Ad language use as distinction only can be used in time. Immediately. The function of language use is to subdue and to rule over multiplicity of possibilities. It's called time. The weave is the two steps embedded in speech and produce. And are the universe and the ground now accomplished? There is one step more in the Genesis conception, the descent. And it was accomplished, the universe and the ground and all services. Accomplished is the universe and the ground not only in the result, but even in activity. And all Elohim in time, the sevens, his occupation which has made. This sentence is missing in a verb. It's a deconstruction of the sentences, our delusions of language. And he desisted in time, the seventh, from his whole occupation which he set in. Desisting from the whole activity of language brings the unmarked space of language its whole depth in experience. And Prosperi gave Elohim the time, the sevenfold. Time as the sevenths of eternity is a constellar principle. And he was set apart himself from it, the time, yes, in it he withdrew from his whole occupation, which made Elohim by putting in order. And Elohim withdrew himself from the sevenfold time. Last sentences, uches or laws, bringing forth the universe and the ground into a letting being. This laws uches about any producing. And where is now the seven, where is now the observer Elohim? The impactful power, the potentiality of language. He, she, it only can be presently here. Thank you for your co-counting. Please. Florian, you don't slate, please. Uh, my active English is not so good. Um, I think, um, thank you very much for that, that um, there's another way to see the context of that. Uh, in relation to the whole Bible, which is that um, uh, at that point of creation, um, a question is being set about whether that creation is going to produce something meaningful, or it's going to just um, dissolve into, into chaos and destruction. And um, th this gives us another way of understanding distinction, that what is this thing about creation? Is it going to realize something that is determined as a meaning through its activity, or is it just going to dissolve itself? Um, and I think that's an important addition that you can still apply Luke Kaufman's calculus um, when, you, when you don't start with nothing and ask what is the distinction, but you start with this question of creation and ask. There's nothing. With nothing, with an origin. Yeah. It's the different to beginning. Yeah, exactly, yeah. And you ask, is that creation going to produce something meaningful or just destructive, which is a kind of question we hold at the moment. What? Can you translate this? What's the last question? From? No, um, I don't know if I understand right. Um, my um, view is 
that the, the eight steps in six times are the laws of form. And Adam is that, that um, the function of Adam is subdue and order. Adam are we. We are Adam. All our producing uh, underlies the laws of form. Uh, if uh, God has given one, then he has given the mathematical laws. Yeah, thank you. Uh, I'll, I'll just say it in English and then ask in German too. So, uh, I'll ask you about who uh, was given those uh, the calculus that you described, because it's not the Septu again, and it, it is not the Volgata. So the the actual text that you are referring to uh, must be the Torah, the, the Jewish uh, version of the Genesis. So actually, God gave it to the Jews and not to the Christians. In, in the uh, historical tradition, but there's, there's, the, the point is, well, uh, uh, John, starting with John, in the, in, in the beginning was was word and, and the word was with God. That, that's the the the, uh, uh, the New Testament. Yeah, from the New yes. Testament. Yeah, but but if you look at the uh, Zohar, they have a different conception of your of your uh, analysis, and that is that that the um, the letters were there before, and God spoke the words, and by combining the letters and speaking them for the first time, the the speech act created the world. So, so it's kind of, it, it, it turns around the, the, the issue of, of order and time. So only by speaking he creates the time. He plays it. That, that's his Zohar solution. So if you stick to the Jewish one, there would be a, an interesting comparison to, to the the uh, medieval Kabbalah about uh, how creation uh, and the issue of order and disorder and, and, and co-creation emerges. What's your question? Well, it is, it is I hear a comment, huh? It's, well, it's, uh, and the, the Jewish, uh, the, the, the Jewish, uh, Jewish uh, text is the, of the Jewish Buddhist, then uh, very interesting of the of the Zohar, uh, zuzugreifen, weil in Soha hat man einen anderen Begriff von, von Ordnung und Unordnung, weil eben dort okay. die Buchstaben, die gab es schon vorher, und das habe ich jetzt leider auf dem Zuhörer Hannes 1.1 äh, äh, gezeigt, und äh, von da aus eben die, diese andere Art, durch den Sprechakt von Gott erst werden die Buchstaben kombiniert und dadurch äh, treten sie manifest in die Welt. Ähm... Um. Um. Ich möchte eine zusätzliche Information geben. I will give a, a next information. The text is created 2,500 years, about this time, and um, created in Babylon. It was an existential crisis of a society that is called himself the nation of God that you mean what is existential crisis. And they were deported to Babylon by Nebuchadnezzar II. All intelligence, Jerusalem was destroyed. And in Babylon, there was the first algebraic, 4,000 years old. And uh, Mesopotamia and Indus was in economic and cultural relation. And there, that's my explanation to the other line uh, about Spencer Brown to the Diary Jin. Uh, that's under an um, under, um, reception, line of reception, as investing. And <clears throat> And the, the, the West thinking, the West philosophy, um, Hebraic language um, was depressed on um, Hellenismus, and Hellenismus sought ontological. And that's um, therefore this kind of interpretation uh, was decreased.
So I'm afraid we're, we're out of time now, um, but I did note that Dirk Baker and Bernie Lewin had questions, which um, you guys can talk later. Um, thank you very much. Okay.